Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, continuing with their freshman spotlight series as we go back to that 2023 class and talk about some freshmen that will be making a year one impact as we head into this 2023 season. And we're going to the Clemson Tigers and we're talking Peter Woods, who I don't know if you saw a true freshman get more buzz coming out of spring practice than Peter Woods. You read the spring practice notes, Peter Woods is dominating. I watched the 2023 spring game for Clemson. Peter Woods absolutely looking the part. And yes, this defensive line for the Clemson Tigers is loaded up. Peter Woods is going to find playing time. It's going to be hard to keep a guy like Peter Woods off the field. Going to be talking about how he fits into this defensive line rotation. Going back into the film and talking about what aspects of his game is going to let him on the field as a true freshman. Now, before we do, just want to say, Thank you to the Clemson fans. We've talked a ton of Clemson recruiting in this 2024 trail. We've talked about why we think Clemson can be national championship contenders in this 2023 season. And the support from the Clemson fans has been absolutely awesome. We can't tell you guys how much we appreciate all the support you guys have been rocking with us. So if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. More importantly, let me know below like what you guys think or how you think Peter Woods factors into this defensive line rotation because you pull up the depth chart and it's not easy to start on this defensive line for the Clemson Tigers, right? You have Tyler Davis, who's an absolute stud. Big Rook O, I thought should have been a day two NFL draft pick last year. Both Tyler Davis and Rook probably would have been playing in the NFL had they not decided to come back to school. That's one of the better interior defensive line groups that you'll see. And then you even look behind like Peyton Page, Trey Williams, Peter Woods, factors in in a meaningful way and the first thing I want to start with is how important I think it is to have a defensive line that is deep like you can cycle two to three groups on that are high caliber players and a guy like Peter Woods even if he's not starting over Ruko or Tyler Davis which by the end of this season I wouldn't be surprised if he is and that's no knock on Ruko or Tyler Davis that's more just highlighting what I think of Peter Woods Peter Woods is going to make an impact, whether it's starting, whether it's coming in as a rotation, because what he offers to this Clemson Tigers team is just a little bit of a difference in playmaker. And another thing that will help him get on the field is you go back into that high school film. He's a guy that can play kind of anywhere along the line of scrimmage. He's a phenomenal athlete that was kind of played a lot on the edge and kind of that outside linebacker role at times. So you see that versatility, the ability to play inside, the ability to play that five technique outside as well is going to be something massive. And you go to the film and like you see how twitched up this dude is in terms of coming from the inside. And these guards and centers, quite frankly, don't have a chance at dealing with him because he has the power to go right through you. And if you want a heavy set, like he has twitched up and he's going to go around you too. Firing up the film, like there's just so much to like and. I guess one thing before we get into the film is projecting these defensive linemen as true freshmen to play significant reps is hard. Like that is the hardest position to start as a true freshman is along the line of scrimmage because you need to be a grown man. Peter Woods, we don't really have any questions about that because you turn on the spring game tape, seven tackles, a TFL and a sack, and that doesn't even begin to kind of to, to describe the disruptive force that Peter Woods is. Now we're firing up the film, and you see first just the absolute power, right? The straight arm just puts that guard right on his butt and goes in and makes play for TFL. Like Peter Woods is just special in the terms of power, and then you see him working on the inside, and this might even be a little bit more special. Like Peter Woods, he's 6'2", kind of that fire hydrant build, plays with low pad level, can go right through tackles. This is an absolutely insane play where he's playing on the edge and gets outside, beats her running back to the edge, and makes a tackle like having a guy that big that twitched up and that athletic it's just a little bit different and that's just part of the reason why Peter Woods is gonna find playing time early he's an elite pass rusher but he's also a guy that because he has so much power in his hands because he plays with a low pad level is going to be a force in the run as well taking on double teams that's what's gonna get you on the field as a true freshman you can't really be a liability in the run game and Peter Woods Certainly not a liability, probably more of a force in the run game as well. And again, you continue to watch the film like it, that car doesn't stand an absolute chance. And then you see the closing speed, right? That's a phenomenal move. And that's quick. We'll rewind this second here. You see him lining up right over the guard. 
makes him completely miss, puts like puts his face in the dirt, and then look at this closing speed to go and get the quarterback. That stuff is so special. How twitched up he is, how powerful he is working through a double team right here. Like that's the type of stuff that's gonna get you on a on a, on a football field. And then the recovery speed. Look at the big dog go, makes a force more force fumble. Like this is a guy that just is so exciting in so many different ways, can take on blocks again, force in the run game, probably a penalty playing with his helmet off, but we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that. Now I want to go back to why I think Peter Woods is gonna have such a massive impact. One, because of the depth, he provides phenomenal amount of depth to this defensive line. And two, his ability to take on double teams like you saw in the film and like you saw in the spring game, Clemson probably has the two best linebackers in the country playing behind this defensive line. And what's a linebacker's best friend talking about guys like Barrett Carter and Jeremiah Trotter Jr.? It's defensive line that can keep them clean, right? When you can eat a double team up and not let that guard or center tackle get to the next level, Barrett Carter and Jeremiah Trotter Jr., are going to have a field day. They're going to be living behind the line of scrimmage. They're going to be going sideline to sideline and making plays. Peter Woods, a guy that can eat double teams up, is not – like even if Peter Woods doesn't light up the stat sheet, which I certainly think he can, he's going to be a guy that allows Barrett Carter and Jeremiah Trotter Jr. to absolutely light up the stat sheet. So you're looking at this Clemson team, and it, like we talk about why we think they can win another national championship if it comes together on the offense side of the ball. This defense is going to be absolutely dominant. And if Peter Woods is as good as he looked in the spring and as good as I read in the spring practice notes, this is going to be one of the best defenses in the country. You have an elite defensive line that not only is loaded with NFL talent, I'm talking about Tyler Davis, Rucco, and even Xavier Thomas, if he can stay healthy. like Those are NFL draft guys. Peter Woods will be playing in the NFL. Dra- NFL. You have two linebackers who are going to go at least in the first three rounds of the NFL draft. And then a secondary that just does not get talked enough about in terms of how young and how quickly developing they are. Like Nate Wiggins had some growing pains. He might be the best cornerback in the ACC this year. Andrew Makuba, he also had some growing pains after a phenomenal freshman year. He's probably going to be one of the better safeties in the ACC. So you're talking about a Clemson defense that is elite at all three levels, and you add Peter Woods, who when we check out the film, like not only the high school film, but you check out what he did at the spring game, some next-level stuff. This Clemson defense is going to continue to dominate the ACC, and Peter Woods is going to be playing a massive, massive part in it again. Peter Woods, one of my favorite freshmen to watch in this 2023 class. You guys know we like talking recruiting. Now we get to see these recruits make it happen on the field. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. Wanted to keep this one short, and we'll talk to you all later.